one is called Mappa just broke the internet in anime fans. How? Chibi, give it to me. Whoa, 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 hold the phone real quick. 26 million views? Mm. I This just changed the trajectory of my entire video I was making for this. You're telling me that yeah. this anime that hasn't had, like, any form of continuation, no new content, etc. For th I think we're talking about Ranma, Ranma 1 divided by 2. Ranma the half? Ranma 1 over 2? It, it's, it's an old, old show. I think there's a gender bender at, uh, element to it, right? Three decades at this point has 26 million views on okay. its trailer that came out this morning just 12 hours why are we not reacting to the fucking trailer right now what are we doing why 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 are we not reacting why did no one post this in the fucking discord hours ago bro yeah that is I, I feel like i'm really missing out man like I, as someone that has never watched ranma one half as someone that i think Growing up in Korea as a kid, I turned the TV on and I saw an episode of Rama, but I never really understood the whole story because I never followed it. But I do remember it. Has never participating participated in the OG. The fact that this series that literally hasn't had a new animation adaptation in three decades at this point, that is insane amount of views. That just showcases the Twitter bots got farmed, it got brigaded. How many of you are actually Rama half enjoyers? This is like a really old show, right? I'd imagine maybe this is a lot of the older anime audience that grew up and is kind of like got farmed through nostalgia here. Level of dedication that this fan base has for this. And it's just like, if I was a part of the production team that was working on the show and I saw these numbers, I would be like, case in point, that we are about to make bank. Like, if the staff and just the... the, the Will it make bank though? Will it? Well, that's a lot of views. I don't know relative to others how much engagement 26.3 is compared to some other anime PBs on Twitter, per se. But, like, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's that good. Or may I, I don't know, because I know for a fact that if I react to this on my channel, I know it's not going to do shit. But my audience has nothing to do with global sales of this show. Maybe there is, like, a huge audience for it. The production committee and everything, it doesn't take a look at these stats. I, I, I'm going to be shocked because these stats prove alone that there is just so many people that wants Rama one have to be successful and they've been desperately starved for this content. Okay. That's insane, man. That, that This is, I, I don't have any posts really to cross. -check. Yeah. There's that other anime too, right? Urusei something. Urusei Yatsura is getting a, it's, it, it is getting a remake right now and it's been airing for a while. Spice and Wolf as well. Remake, right? Remake of nostalgic old anime seems to be the trend right now. I mean, fucking even One Piece is not ended yet. But, you know, I think Studio Wit or something is figuring out, hey, can we try to do a reboot of the One Piece thing? Which, honestly, might be pretty cool, right? What other OG anime, like even Code Geass, even like Legend of the Galactic Stars, right? Le no, Galactic Heroes. All these old legendary animes are getting like reboots, but are they actually selling well too on top of that? Check this. But I will say that in terms of anime PV trailers in just 12 hours after it came out, this has to be one of the highest viewed posts I've ever seen. Okay. Obviously, if you probably compare it to maybe a JJK post now, etc., maybe it might have 100 million views or something because obviously it's been sitting there for a while. But obviously, I don't have the data for it. But Like upon upload, right? This is still July 17th today right now. 26.3 mil. That's pretty significant, huh? If you compare one day's worth of engagement. I know for a fact this Ronma trailer, this post, has to be one of the highest, at least in the top five highest viewed post I have ever seen for an anime. Like, th it is the highest I think I've ever seen. At least 12 hours. This is ridiculous. It's just like, because you know for a fact that people that are going to watch this show... They're not necessarily newcomers. I mean, there's going to definitely be a percentage here that are newcomers, yes. How many people, like, right now in chat, you guys are younger than this show, this series. How many of you actually check this out? I doubt any of you would care. I think this is like a lot of nostalgia bait right now. And maybe those audience will watch. I don't want to be a hater of Rama, but I just feel like whenever you have old shows like this, and like my... My perception is twisted because I'm just measuring based off YouTube audience. And I know for a fact Spice and Wolf has no fucking audience on YouTube for the remake. A lot of people say they love this show. There's a huge cult following. But if you just look at the numbers compared to some other animes, no one actually gives a fuck about Spice and Wolf. No one actually gives a fuck about, you know, the Urusei fucking Ur the Yatsura or whatever one.
I know they're legendary shows, but it's just like, I just don't see the numbers on YouTube. But YouTube numbers are not the same as global sales or Twitter engagement and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how many people actually start watching this if the MAPPA makes it. But a lot of people that are excited for the show is just old anime fans. People that are at this point 30 plus years old at this point. I'm not saying that people can't be 20 or in their teens that have watched Rama the original, but I'm saying most of the demographic, if I had to take an educated guess, is in their 30s. And it's just like the fact that there is that many active people that are excited for this yeah, cool. is so ridiculous to me. Um, there's some information that also came out today that this is going to be being done by Studio Mappa. Nothing like human slavery to pump out great anime. Can you? Oh man, it, it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait for the inevitable drama to happen. Just like Jujutsu Kaisen at the height of season two, of everybody coming with complaints and farming the drama. And Chibi will be there, and I will be there to cover the drama. Oh yes. That could be explained the view count as well. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is that Studio Mappa is working on Ranma one half. And apparently the show is set to air on October 5th of this year. Literally. Wow. Next anime. Whoa. Dude, I, I thought like, usually it takes like, because like I, I look at Soul Leveling, they, they market heavily, they advertise heavily, and then like two or three seasons later, then it drops. But like, they drop a fucking first trailer. I'm not sure if they've had more announcements before this. Maybe they have. And now this is finally the trailer they're giving. So maybe that's what's going on. Season. Next anime season, Ranma comes out. It's so soon. Hmm. It's honestly ridiculous. I, I, I cannot believe how soon this is about to air. But on top of that, of all those things, it's by MAPPA. Woo! We love MAPPA, don't Rumble we? Rumble and Half, I believe, has a lot of content. Enough content to potentially make, like, a few seasons. Yeah. I, I believe the original anime was, like, 100-plus episodes. I, I, I think most of it would maybe have been filler. But I do know that Rama apparently has a lot of content. And so, factoring all of that in, I'm under the assumption that Rama could be multiple seasons. This could be the next cash cow for Studio Mappa, because it's like, it's very clear. Does anyone have numbers for Urusei Yatsura? Or any of the other spice, like the remakes? Are they actually making a lot of sales? Because, like, I genuinely want to know if this is, like, and you guys can tell me in the YouTube comment section, too, later, if you guys have had the numbers. But, like, I want to know, like, is it just nostalgia baits in the beginning and no one actually gives a fuck? Or is this the hype true? It speaks for itself. I don't need to reinstate it. It really does speak for itself. So, factoring all of that in, I w And that's another good thing to point out, too, right? Because, like, the audience right now, who are the main audience that's going to watch Rama? You think a bunch of kids are going to do it? Fuck no. They're way too young for this shit. It's gonna be one, it's gonna be the 30 plus audience and what does 30 plus audience have they have money they're working professionals right so they are marketing heavily through an older audience that's grown up with this show and now has money to spend through nostalgia this is actually pretty fucking smart man wonder like i'm gonna assume Judging by this trailer that came out, I'm gonna mute it. I don't want to get copyrighted. The trailer looks really good, by the way. It's Ooh. a really good looking trailer. It. Whenever the English subs come out, we'll check out the trailer. Does look like it's trying to do that old design of Ranma from the clips I have seen. The question I think a lot of people are gonna have though is, is how censored is this as well? Because it's. It's a lot. It's an etchy anime in the past. Due to the gender bend element, I imagine, according to Urzat, Blu-ray disc box one of Urusei Yatsura 2022 is in the top 10 of Blu-ray sales. Wow. Okay. Okay. And again, right? Comparing anime viewership numbers on YouTube compared to actual, you know, merch or fucking DVD sales. It's totally different things. So, cool. They make a lot of money off of nostalgia, huh? It's like, I'm not saying that MAPPA will release something uncensored or censored. I'm just saying that the original OG Rama one half had a lot of nudity in it. I've seen the clips. I have. I haven't watched the show, but I've seen the nudity clips. And I am legitimately curious if that content will be kept in or if it's going to be completely removed. I mean, okay. has Studio MAPPA actually showed full-on nudity before? I don't I'm trying, know. I'm trying to think. Obviously, we had those moments in Chainsaw Man but I don't think no they've actually ever shown full-blown nudity. Nah, never seen a single nipple. That's why we're so, alright? Every time there's a nipple, we go over to Kick Cam, watch that shit on Twitch, but I don't think we've ever seen a single nipple. Nope. So, I am curious. This would definitely be a first that they did it. I mean, it's releasing on Netflix exclusively. Okay. So, 
it could potentially because netflix has definitely had some nsfw stuff on it. i mean devil man crybaby is a good example but um still studio mappa working on the show i i feel for the production team i really do i feel for the the staff because you know for a fact they're about to cook something that's probably a five out of five and you know they're, yeah. for a fact they're not going to be respected and there's going to yeah. be a lot of controversy around it yeah you, you know all that shebang and i know for a fact that drama news is going to happen as soon as this shit starts going and people are going to be farming the drama chibi will make a video and i will be there to react to the video you know how it goes is gonna happen for this series but uh yeah i just i wanted to talk about this this came to my attention this morning and i took a look at the views like i was in mid recording and i just i saw this i just i had to stop what i was saying because i was just like this just changed everything i wanted to say because it's just like that's ridiculous this just changed but, uh, everything yeah i i've been missing out i i definitely gotta watch rama i i'm definitely gonna be watching this when this airs this this year literally in a few months from now but um you know how it goes for youtube reactions right yeah, either there is an audience like in, in my audience that wants to watch this or not i might check out an episode or two who, who knows but i doubt it's gonna succeed there is no way that an audience heavily endowed on isekai power fantasy and harem and ecchi and you know stuff like that or maybe a little bit shonen heads are gonna enjoy this old show i don't know who knows maybe there is but to me i just don't have like instinctively it just doesn't feel like that kind of anime that's gonna do well that's that's ridiculous i mean i don't even think i have time to really catch up with it so like the original so yeah yeah I'm just i'll watch the anime we'll see how it goes but okay thank you so much for watching you all know what to do go give chibi a like on the video sub to his channel if you haven't interesting anime maybe um it's gonna be actually that good i think that overall mappa be like farming the audience that's grown up watching Rama and not that they're old. Remember the marketing towards like people with more money, genius idea, nostalgia is one hell of a drug. People will definitely spend money for that shit. And on our channel, we might check out the trailer when the English subs comes out. Maybe we'll check out the anime, but to me, it just feels like this is not the type of anime that my audience on YouTube wants to watch. But hey, I pray for its success and I pray for the working conditions of the slaves over at MAPPA.